Ah, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy here for Grim Gaddy's Guide of the Gaming. Finally got the intro right back on track, and we're right back on track. More Dragon Age talking to fucking when. What's on your mind? Uh, migraine, because I still have more to bullshit with you. I'd like to ask you something about the circle. Ah. I will answer to the best of my ability. Ah. I didn't want to stay at the tower. Meh. I'm just going to make that sound now. Meh. The circle is in good hands. Irving knows what to do, and he doesn't need me underfoot. Meh. For now, I will support those that battle the Darkspawn. I do feel I left things unfinished in Ostagar. There is so much left to do, and I would be part of it. Meh. Wait, you're at Ostagar? Oh, fuck me, you're at Ostagar. Oops. I am now glad for your company. The Grey Wardens, all two of you, need all the help you can get. I will see this through to the bitter end. And after that, if I am still left standing, then I will return to the circle. Hooray. I am sure you'll be able to return if you so choose, when. Err! Perhaps. Oh, is that it? Seriously? Am I done? What's on your mind? Fuck. I will answer to the best of my ability. Please tell me. Okay, how did you become a mage? I'm actually kind of curious on that one. People don't become mages. They are born mages. The talent just surfaces later. But you are asking how I ended up at the Circle. I was brought oh. there by the Templars, just like many of the other apprentices. I don't remember very much. I was very young then. <laughs> so how did they know you were a mage? Hmm? Hmm? You accidentally set the cat on fire like I did? Hmm? My head, that's my cannon. That's how my powers emerged. I accidentally lit the cat on fire. I set a boy on fire. Wow! Actually, that's worse. Holy shit. I'm sure that's a... Fascinating story. You just became wicked interesting. I didn't have a family. I never knew my real parents. My earliest memory was of hiding in a hayloft on a farm, trying to keep warm. I was found, and the farmer's wife was kind enough not to send me away. But they had children of their own, and I was never made to feel welcome. The eldest son was the worst. He was always calling me a stray and throwing anything he could get his hands on at me. And I don't know how it happened, but one day, he just found his hair on fire. Fortunately, there was a large trough nearby. That legit sounds like something my character would do. There's him right. He ran screaming, dripping head and all to his mother. I was shut up in the barn, with a bowl of water and a crust of hard bread. The Templars arrived several mornings later. Jesus Christ, what a terrible experience for a child. The barn kept me safe from the village children, and the stones they would hurl at me. I was afraid, yes, but it could have been much worse. Fair. I'll never forget the moment the Templars led me into the entrance hall of the tower. I had never seen anything so grand in my life. I stopped being afraid then. I knew I was home. Hmm. That's a great story, Wynn. I really like the part where you set the boy on fire. Well, that's about all there is to my tale. That's how I came to the circle. It's been a while since I left the tower, now I think about it. It has been almost a year, hasn't it? Do you miss the tower at all? Wait, seriously? What the hell? Um. Sure. It was my home for so long. It's only been a year. <laughs> you can take a mage out of the circle, but you can't take the circle out of the mage. Or so Irving used to say. He was joking, but there is some truth to the statement. 
A mage never really leaves the circle, and for the rest of your life, you will be seen as a circle mage. But I'm a warden now. But you will always be a mage, especially in the eyes of others. You represent both mages and Grey Wardens, and your actions may reflect well or badly on both groups. Remember that. Yes, Mother. I will try. Thank you for the advice, Mom. Oh, but listen to me go on. <laughs> you start a conversation, and I just run away with it, don't I? Well, at least I was able to start it this time. Jesus. And not so much as a hobble, honestly. Old. Nothing wrong with hobbling. <laughs> it's a perfectly acceptable way to get around. Sure it is. What's on your mind? I'd like to ask you more. I will answer to the best of my ability. Oh, thank God. Okay. Jesus. There's... Oh, God damn it. Hers has a weird trigger, too, if I remember it right. If there's anything I can do for you, please... I'm sure... Please stop speaking. Uh... Let's see here. Pretty sure I don't need that anymore. Gonna hang on to that for fun. Hmm. I see a lot of this stuff. I'm just gonna jam in there. Uh, oh, I know what those are. Okay. Those are part of another mod. Oh, wow, I'm being, getting heavy plate mail armor now. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Point to spend on a talent or a spell. Wow, really? Oh, one's physical. Oh. Okay, well, fuck. That does not what I hoped. That sucks. Awful gift of the shirt. It was a thoughtful gift. Buy like one gold. So I'm gonna max out Peep's freaking stuff. You're all basically max. Balls here. Actually, your shit's triggered, so I need Zevran. I have to talk to you eventually. How nice. How nice. How nice. And uh, how winds are you, frick? Most kind. How nice. Morgan, you're almost mad. Interesting. There we go. Okay, let's go check out and see if that actually worked. Yes. Yes. Indeed. We don't have to have a tank. Dog! Ooh, yes. What the fuck is all this? Oh, this is... Oh, okay. I say I also looked up something else. Um, regrettably... I yeah, fuck that. 
Uh, this no longer... Well, on PC anyway. This actually does not upgrade... Uh, your equipment. You have to actually sell it to the dude and buy it back. Which is really kind of fucking sad. Like, really sad. I'm absurdly sad by that. That's okay, though, because I only got one character to use, and it's not the one I want to use. So, at the very least, I can just start throwing shit right in there. Yeah, I can wear that? Why can't I wear that? Weird. Throw all the shit I want to keep in there. Which, oddly enough, is quite a bit. Because I'm going to have one more character definitely I need to pick up. A few more, actually. I have one is pretty easy to deck out because they only wear one thing. that to you, don't I? Welcome back, Warden. Hi, As you can see, we've been busy. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother, Mikhail, came out of hiding. Never will you find a finer smith. Also, got some goods stored here that might interest you. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. Yeah, I want to see your wares. Certainly. It literally tells you nothing useful. Like, a first keeps on himself now. It doesn't really bother anyone. Shit like Wow, you have fucking jack shit. Total sad by that. But uh, Ooh, actually hang on to that. I realize you were actually wearing something here. Smith, you say? Levi's nephew. You? You're the warden? My family owes you. Oh shit. Any weapons I make, I will sell you for a discount. Well, obviously. Hey, you know what? In my travels, I found this really weird metal in a crater. This... This is star metal. If you give this to me, I will craft for you a thing of legend. Literally the best freaking sword in the game. Who would I give it to? I want to say I would give it to Alistair. Honestly. Just because I really don't. I'm going to swap out that longsword of his for a while now. Uh, I am going to be keeping Sten around. So having him with a decent 2 would be nice. Tough call. Tough call. And I really hate those are your two options. Um. Shit. But if I do go Arcane Warrior, I could use... And I'm gonna if I do that I'm gonna get the other version of the star of uh, Arthelon. Fuck. You know what? Actually, I have plans. So two-handed. And so it shall be. It is done. 
I call this blade Starfang. May it serve you well. I must rest after my exertions. Warden? Blacksmith? Ben! Have I got a gift for you, you son? A little Starfang. Plus three strength, armor pen, eight attack versus twenty five resistance. Warden. Honestly, what makes it the best is the fact that it has three runes. Now, you have, if I remember right, yep, you have, oh my dear sweet. Of course you do. Yeah, this is basically where you're going to end up getting. Oh, the good Grey Warden. They also sell some pretty decent freaking other stuff. Okay, well, we'll eventually come back for... Hi. Fuck are you? And if I'm not mistaken, there's really nothing else here now. Like, there's basically that, there's the storage... Levi, dog, that dude... Like, I'm pretty certain you can't even go into the keep anymore. Yeah, no, you can't even go into the keep anymore. So, you know, kind of sad, but what the hell ever. Uh... Really need to pick up for our soon to be type. Fuck, was that Sultra's Pass or. I think it was Sultra's Pass. Oh, Sultra's Pass. Now what? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I wish I didn't have my current party makeup. Oh, come on. Is that really all the far I can stretch? Okay, well, eat a dick on all of you at.
Max up persuasion at least, so. Go fucking do something about those. Right away. That was a corpse there. Why does Darkspawn even have money? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, I think we finally triggered her shit. <sighs> I fell. No shit. Uh, you okay? For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. Oh, the fight is over, that's what you mean? No. I thought I was. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. Okay, so we triggered her quest, finally. Moving on. Hello, I am he. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Part of your problem? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur, at your service. Hello, I am he. Last of the remaining of the Grey Wardens. Brother to the Circle of Magi. Savior to the Tower of the Magi. Hero of Redcliffe. Savior of Young Connor the Lord. And recently the owner of Soldier's Peak. How you doing? I don't normally take this route, but with the war I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this neither. trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you'd consider helping a fellow out? Help a fellow out... How? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh... Maybe you could? How do I know this even will work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... Mm, troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? Sure, I think I can use it. Just as well. You'll find the golem in a village named Honleaf in the hinterlands. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I've heard it might be dangerous there with all the dark spawn about, but I'll wager that's not an issue for someone like you. <laughs> Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. 
That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. And if it doesn't, I will be back. All right, well, uh, oh, then I really hope it works. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Yep, have fun with that. Yes. Ah. Well, that's all we had to do here, I believe, so moving on. Oh, we got a new spot. That said, guys, I am going to pause the video here because, frankly, I have to pee, among other things. I mean, get something, take a break from this. Ah. As usual, I do hope you all are enjoying this as much as I am, and if you are enjoying this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You leave a comment, if you will. But until then, guys, I have to piss. So, until next time, kids. Take care now. Bye-bye then. I have to...